Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call to order the regular scheduled council meeting for Monday, October 3rd, 2016, at 7 p.m. Mr. Collier? Mayor Lowry? Here. Mr. McIntyre? Here. Mr. Reynolds? Here. Mr. Lindsay? Here. Mr. Blockman? Present. Mr. Craybock? Here. Six members present. Mm -hmm. Take to do that. And if you'll stand, we'll have tonight's invocation by Councilman John Craybock. Please bow your heads, please. Our Heavenly Father, creator of the earth, we pray, Lord God, we give you great thanks for our country that we are free. And that we can stand up here in this fine city and give us knowledge to go forward. Give us knowledge to make laws for all in concern. For we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And tonight we'll do the pledge. We'll use the flag in the back tonight. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I need uh, actions on the minutes for the regular scheduled, scheduled council meeting, 9 19 2016. So moved. Second. Ready? Yes, sir. Mr. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Craybock? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Mr. McIntyre? Abstain. Mr. Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Lindsay? Yes. Minutes past five zero to one. Thank you, sir. And Mayor, before you go on, if I could uh, let Mr. Lindsay know, I did correct that first page of the eight fifteen minutes. Thank you, sir. So it is has been corrected. I called him somebody else. He didn't like that. <laughs> oh, <that's a> <laughs> I didn't know who he was insulting. <laughs> All right, before we move on, if you don't mind, uh, Mr. Bridge, I just wanted to talk about the festival real quick. Sure. I just wanted to thank everyone that came out over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We got lucky that the weather really looked like it was going to be a wash for the entire festival, but everything worked out. We, uh, we uh, had a really good time, and I just wanted to thank all the festival committee members, the council members that helped, Mr. McLaughlin, um, all the city workers uh, did a great job helping us get up, get the stage up. And I really want to stress, and that's why Chief's here tonight, and I wanted him to be here while I said this. Uh, this was probably the best year we've ever had with the New Plow Fire Department with our festival. Uh, they set up the MA trailer, Central Point, for any uh, problems that may have arose during the festival. They were, they were on their A game. Uh, they were really great and easy to communicate with when we had questions or concerns. And uh, just a, a big tip to you and you and the staff at the fire department. It was, you guys did an amazing job. I just want to thank you. It was, a, it was a fun time for us. Uh, all of the division really yeah. stepped up, did a lot, of, uh, put in some hours, did a lot of good work. Um, we were able to cover both events this weekend. We, while the Heritage Life Festival was going on, we also had another event at the Air Force Museum that we were uh, supporting also uh, with EMS personnel. Uh, it got a little hairy Saturday morning with the, with the calls. But I've, and, and that goes back not just to us, but with the parade people and every, everything that we had um, two very emergent calls to active heart attacks in the city uh, at different addresses and that we were able to get to the scene while the parade was going on, get both medics back out of the city without any delay and get the patients to the hospital and both of them had good outcomes. And we also had a person that <coughs> passed out during the same time that that was going on during and in the parade route and that was taken care of by the uh, on scene crews that were at the festival. So it was, you know, in between that and the uh, thank you again to the Heritage Flight Committee for the donation to us from the 50-50 from the uh, drawing. In between the 50-50 drawing, in between our hot dog sales and for the event that we did at, at the museum, we were able to raise over $2,000 this weekend for our Lucas Tour. Right. Yeah, what he's referring to is, is that right before the festival started, the Heritage Flight Festival decided with our 50-50 that we do every year, 
our share of the 50-50 always goes to pay for our deputies, and the deputies did a fantastic job as well. But that's our biz biggest expense for the festival is providing cops 24 hours for all three days on Main Street. They, you know, even if there's a call somewhere else in the city, those deputies are dedicated to the festival. They're still the deputies in town, but ours are hired for our event. So what we decided, once whatever money we had left over on our share of the 50-50 after paying the deputies, we donated it to the fire department for the Lucas Tool Fund which I think was close to, I'm not 100% sure because she hasn't got all the numbers and bills yet, I think around $700 or so. Mm -hmm. So it's, I mean, it's not a lot, but it's Everybody definitely a step in the right direction. Mr. Collier. I would like to add, uh, reg as, the, as the parade, regarding the parade, and Chief is right, it was, the, their response was so smooth that us being on the other side of town, we didn't even know it occurred until everybody got back that they, you know, the squad had runs that were going on at that point in time. I kind of wanted to mention also, uh, since since you brought it up already, Mayor, I'll, I'll just go ahead and mention Since the Shriners did not show for the parade, uh, I want to thank Ron and Jane Manneman for donating all the food and, and items that they yes. had bought to the fire department, which I'm sure also helped with some profit on their end. So I want to yes, thank them. Also, I want to thank my son, Andy, who was the, uh, the person at the other end of the parade to help it be very smooth and people were coming in. So it was a great parade, great weekend. Very, very nice. And it looks like Dewey had a good time as Grand Marshal. <laughs> so, uh, so sorry to ask you to come in tonight, Chief. I just thought you should Sorry. be here for that because you guys did a, did a fantastic job. So. Yes, they did. Uh, I think that's how you come this, Mr. Mayor. Or, all right, I just, just, just want to say that safety is paramount. That's why we have deputies there. And thank goodness the fire department is responsive as they have been, and the deputies have been. Uh, that is a big expense for us. But we have to have them there. There might be one or two incidents during the weekend, but it's handled so smoothly you don't even know that it was handled, to be quite honest with you. So, the other thing I want to say is we do have a, a beer hanger now, and the American Legion is running that, and they do an excellent job of it. They have no problems. You're only allowed to drink in their area. You cannot go out of the area. And they had a wonderful weekend, and they were so proud of themselves, and they actually made some money, so that was a good thing. Yes. And I want to mention the fire department's help and everybody's help when our wonderful wide load came through town yeah. uh, and announced on Sunday. That was awesome. That was, it was uh, thanks to Chief, uh, Assistant Chief Ritter. He lives out towards that way and he was coming in and he called and said, uh, you might want to get a hold of the deputy, we got a problem. That was, uh, that was he huge. pulled out behind a wide load that had two troopers escorting the wide load that was supposed to come straight down Main Street. Yeah, they, oh, st they, st they stopped right at Speedway, so we had, we had to move them down late to Clay. Lake to Clay, Clay to Jefferson, Jefferson to Church. Uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> was in between us being able to reroute them and the truck driver that they had was very good. Yeah. <laughs> very good. All the houses are still standing. Yeah. <laughs> you might want to ask Andy how good he was since he took that part of his yard there, turned in that corner by, by the funeral home. But, but uh, go ahead. Anything else for me? I, no, I just I just wanted you to come in tonight. And I really appreciate it. Well, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful time. I'm going down to see how well the hurricane does. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> enjoy your vacation. Yeah. I'll give your people mine. Good, good. That's what I gave you that Okay, so moving on, we got uh, the city manager's report. Mr. Bridge, nice to see you. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. Good to be back. Had a good vacation. Um, I would like to share the uh, city manager's report, uh, members of public, members of council. Um, on the action report, um, it says possible updates in, in, uh, uh, under Kennedy Trust, Twin Creeks Parcels, and Tax Credit Petition. The reason it said possible updates is I had a meeting this morning at 8.30 with our law director, Lynette, at her office. I didn't know what was going to be said at that meeting. Um, so I do have some things to share. Uh, Kennedy Trust, it's, we're uh, Lynette is still discussing finalizing the next steps. Uh, when that is all made uh, available, we'll definitely bring council into the loop again. I know the last executive session, a lot of that was discussed. Um, Twin Peaks parcels, there are no updates with that. Everything has been tra transferred. Still waiting on me to, to go through with the fine tooth comb and get back everything that we can legally charge to get back on that. And the tax credit petition, we actually have a hearing at the Board of Elections next Tuesday, uh, October 11th. I do believe that starts at 10 p.m. Yeah. Um, okay. 
a.m. Yeah. Thank you so much. It is kind of late for that to have that at 10 p.m. I'm assuming. They could be. Busy. They could be. <laughs> um, so as soon as we're able to divulge what happens with that hearing, we'll definitely uh, bring council up the loop and our citizens as well. Uh, moving on, informational items. This is on the last one too. Um, there's been a massive cleanup at uh, Willowick and New Carlisle Parks. Um, I said I have more information to come on this council meeting. I'm actually going to do it on the 17th. I'd like to get some before and action, after pictures and uh, invite those who are involved in council to get recognized as well. Um, but again, they've done a fantastic job up there. It's a nine day difference. So um, we'll uh, publicly thank them at the next council meeting. Trick or treat for 2016 is Saturday, October 29th. And that is 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Again, trick or treat, beggar's night. 2016, Saturday, October 29th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And Crime Watch was normally on the agenda. I put it on here just because the agenda was kind of large. We ran out of room to keep it one page. Crime Watch will have a meeting October, Wednesday, October 12th, 2016, here at the Smith Park Shelter House. And that does begin at 6.30 p.m. Uh, that is all I have for the city manager, city manager report. I'd be happy to entertain any questions. Council, any questions for the city manager? Thank you, sir. Yep, absolutely. Nice to see you back. Thank you. Did you get a haircut when you were done? I did. It, got, it grew a lot faster down there for some reason. I don't, I don't know. It must have been in the water. Right. That's what I'm saying. Do you like it? No comment. It's darker. No, <laughs> yeah. can't all. all right. Uh, moving on. Uh, communications. Any comments from members of the public? Any uh, comments from the uh, public tonight? This is your time. You can go up to the podium if you have any questions or comments. All right, thank you very much. <coughs> Committee reports, none tonight. We'll move on to uh, resolutions. Mr. Collier, are you ready? Resolution 16-10R, introduction public hearing and action tonight. A resolution accepting the amounts and rates as determined by the Budget Commission and authorizing the necessary tax levies and certifying them to the county auditor. Council? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to accept resolution 16-10R. Second. <laughs> I'm with it. Second. I don't know whether one jumps on it, so we're all like, all right, yeah. Yeah. I thought we were, I thought we were on the verge of having to die due to lack of emotion. We're not letting this one die. We can't. We, <laughs> this dies, we have no tax money. Yeah. Wouldn't that be to this yeah. ordinate, uh, resolution? Yearly house meeting, essentially, um, when we submit the tax budget to the county auditor, they go through it and then they give, give us uh, this back for us to certify our tax levies. Council, any questions or comments? Mr. Collier, when you're Mr. ready, Mr. Reynolds. Please? Yes. Mr. Lindsay. Yes. Mr. McLaughlin. Yes. <coughs> Mr. Greenbaum. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Mr. McIntyre. Yes. S is six to zero. Resolution 16-11R, introduction, public hearing, and action tonight. A resolution providing for the permanent transfer of funds from the general fund to Street Fund 201 of the City of New Carlisle. Mr. Mr. Mayor. Go ahead, Mr. Lindsay. Go ahead. Lindsay. Sorry, sir. Go ahead. Uh, I move we accept resolution 16-11R. I'll second. And an explanation of this ordinance. Um, a resolution, I'm sorry. Uh, this will allow us to take $71,100 out of our general fund and put it in street uh, construction fund 201. And this is actually the waste management franchise or administration fee for this year only. I know that one of the uh, last council member uh, meetings, it was this close that the money was never missing. It was just put in the general fund or it really should have been put in the general fund and <coughs> transferred out to the street fund. Unfortunately, that did not happen. So um, under this management, when we noticed it, uh, obviously the right thing to do at this point in time is transfer what we can. Now with that being said, this transfer will not take place at the end of the year. And the reasoning of that is that we haven't got a full year of administration fees from waste management because we're still in the third quarter? Second, third. We're getting right ahead of the fourth. Getting right ahead into the fourth. So we haven't been, they haven't sent us to check for the third quarter and the fourth quarter. So at the end of the year, when we have all that collected, it should equal this amount and then we'll do that transfer. So these funds will not be able to be um, spent until 2017. Okay. <coughs> Council, Mr. Yeah, I just want to thank you and the mayor for working on this. I know after the last well, a few weeks ago when this came up in a council meeting, 
Um, we, we knew we had to do something, and sure. uh, you and the mayor are very proactive in rectifying the situation, and I think it's great, and it goes really a long way just to you know, show transparency and, and that we try to make corrections when we see something that's yeah. it's not what we thought it was. And so sure. I just want to thank you both for your work with that. It's the right thing to do. It's not our money. It's, a, it's a, If you live in the city, it's your money, so you have to do the right thing with it, and I think this is the right thing to do. No questions asked. Thank you, Mr. McIntyre. Mr. Craybacher. Yeah, I want to thank you, you know, too. That's, you know, we all make mistakes. Sure. But it's when we just don't, you know, admit to it and just let it keep on going on. Um, question, though, is mm -hmm. there going to be a line item or anything uh, for later on, or is this going to be like housekeeping each year for just transfer on over? Um, you're going to have a resolution um, every year that we do it because we, any, it, it'll follow this procedure. Um, We'll get with our finance director about how many, how often she wants to do it. Do we do it on a quarterly basis or do we do it at the end of the year? Um, we can do this legislation as long as we don't spend any of that money for that year. For example, in 2017, if we go in after the first quarter, do this legislation as is, put it in that fund and not spend it till the end of the year, then we're not going to do a second ordinance. We have to do a second ordinance to actually spend it as well. But since we don't have all this collected, we're not going to spend it till the end of the year anyway. So to answer your question, next year if we do it into the first quarter and we want to spend that money the same year you're looking at another piece of legislation okay well since we do a lot of our street work i guess in the spring spring summertime time period usually. but just throughout mm -hmm. throughout okay thank you mr craig walker uh, mr bridge let's also keep in mind that's if we move forward with that fee correct? sure and on special i mean we'll have a special meeting tuesday and you council can decide if you whatever hauler you want to go with and then if you want to go with or without the admin fee right if council chooses to go without the administration fee then after this year we won't have to worry about transferring any money because there will right. be no fee to transfer we'll be no <laughs> sure thank you mm -hmm. mr Collier. mr Craybacher. yes Mayor Lowry. Yes. Mr. McIntyre. Yes. Mr. Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Lindsay. Yes. Mr. McLaughlin. Yes. Passes six to zero. All right, moving on to ordinances. These are will be a seven introduced tonight to zero action. Mr. Collier, when you're yes. ready. Hang in there with me. It's going to take a while. Right. Is it okay once I go through these to go straight down into the other business and read those two items also? Yes, if you'd like. Okay, then you guys can add what you want after that. Yeah, because we'll have to excuse the council member. Ordinance 16-37, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 1017, which will be our next regular meeting. An ordinance amending the estimated resources of the city of New Carlisle to the county auditor that will be available to appropriate for the fiscal year 2016. Ordinance 16-38, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 1017, our next regular meeting. An ordinance supplementing certain appropriations of the City of New Carlisle Ordinance 1610. Ordinance 16-39A, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 101116, which will be a special meeting. An ordinance accepting a bid for an exclusive franchise for the curbside collection and disposal of residential garbage, refuge, and recyclables in the City of New Carlisle, Ohio. Ordinance 16 39, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 10 11 16. An ordinance accepting a bid for an exclusive franchise for the curbside collection and disposal of residential garbage, refuge, and recyclables in the city of New Carlisle, Ohio. Ordinance 16 40A, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 10 11 16. An ordinance accepting a bid for an for an exclusive franchise for the curbside collection and disposal of residential garbage, refuge, and recyclables in the city of New Carlisle, Ohio. Ordinance 16-40B, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 10-11-16. An ordinance accepting a bid for an, for an exclusive franchise for the curbside collection and disposal of residential garbage, refuge, and recyclables in the city of New Carl, Ohio. Ordinance 16-41, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 10-17-16, which will be our next regular meeting. 
an ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract for liability insurance with USI Insurance Services, LLC, representing the public entity in its entities pools of Ohio for the administration of said policy. Under other business, city offices will be closed Monday, October the 10th for Columbus Day. And as I said a number of times, council will have a special meeting on Tuesday, October the 11th at 7 p.m. and that will be held at the fire station and that's to vote on the waste contract ordinances. Thank you, Mr. Collier. Council, uh, we, I got a business. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, well, I'll say before we move on, just keep in mind we'll have to do a uh, motion to excuse yeah. one council member. Yeah. But if we have any other business before that, Mr. well, yeah, I, um, just two things. Um, Tuesday, which is tomorrow's, you know, just make an announcement now, but hopefully somebody else comes in here, even on YouTube. Um, Tuesday, October the 4th, from 5 to 6 at New Carlisle Church of the Brethren. The second harvest food pant, mobile food pantry will be out in the parking lot. They, they did so well um, two weeks ago. They did so well that they said that they wanted a third place to have the food mobile because they said that there was a big need. But they have, they said that they took care of over 300 people in the Park Lane in New Carlisle area. Um, there was over 100 and some families. Uh, they took the statistics, you know, you know, from each person and how many people in their families, how they came up with over 300. So they wanted a third time, you know, in the area. So uh, from 5 to 6 tomorrow at the New Carlisle Church of the Brother. Now that's going to be a monthly thing. We have, you know, I, we have agreed to do it on a monthly basis. Next month, they have a problem that's going to probably be on the first Thursday. In December, there's a problem with the Tuesday, and we don't know that date yet. But, however, we're trying to take, you know, make this out of the food desert. You know. Great. Thank you. Mr. Mayor. I move the excuse, uh, Council Member Lee Second. Did you hear that, Gene? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Yes. Ms. Craybon. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Mr. McIntyre. Yes. Mr. Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Lindsay. Yes. Mr. Rick Lowry is excused. All right. Council, any comments, questions, concerns tonight before we wrap it up? Anything from the public? Any last chance? Question. Mr. Lindsay. Uh, Mr. Bridge. Yes, sir. At the next uh, our spatial meeting, will there be representatives from the two trash companies there for uh, questions or not? No, waste management will be there. I'm not sure about Rump. Okay. All right, thank you. Sure. As in, they may not have someone to send or? As I have not asked them at this point. Okay. Thank you, sir. Another question then. Could you ask? Sure. Would you please? Yeah, thank, thank you. you. I think I'm done. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes. On the 11th, yes. Uh -huh. Oh, definitely. It, it is open to the public. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, yes. Yep. All right. Mr. Mayor, I move we adjourn. Hey, Mr. Mayor. Hey.